In this video, I want to show you step-by-step step how to install Windows 10 to run from a USB key. This type of installation is called Windows to Go. For this, we will be needing three things. First thing is a USB key that is 32 GB or more. Now, I have already inserted a 128 GB USB in my PC. The second thing that we need is the utility called Rufus. We can download it from rufus.ie and the third thing that we need is your Windows 10 activation key. You also need the Windows 10 ISO but we will see now that Rufus can download it automatically for you if you don't have it from Microsoft site. A note about USB key speed before we begin. Even if USB is labeled 3.0 it doesn't mean it will perform well. I tried three USB keys, two of which are labeled 3.0, and they were extremely slow. They took about three hours to put the Windows image on them, and it took about one hour to boot from them. The best and fastest solution I found is to put a SanDisk 128GB microSD card in a USB adapter. It took less than a minute to boot and it took almost 25 minutes to put the Windows image on. I will leave the link in the description below so you can check it out. So let's go ahead and download Rufus first. Start your web browser. Here I'm using the new Microsoft Edge. Go to rufus.ie. Scroll down and click on Rufus Portable, the latest version. Now Rufus is a file, an executable file that runs without installation. So once it is downloaded, just click on Open File. And here I'm choosing to check for updates. So now this is a Rufus screen. First, you need to select the device that you will be using to install Windows on. Here I have my USB key, which is 128GB. Careful, because the operation will delete everything on the USB key. So make sure that its content is something that you don't want. Or back it up first. Then boot selection. And here I don't have an ISO image, a Windows ISO image. So I will let Rufus download it for me from Microsoft site. To do this, next to select, click the drop down arrow and select download and then click on download. Rufus will run a script and it will connect to Microsoft site. It will present you with two versions of Windows. Here I need Windows 10, so I'll select Windows 10, click on continue and then I'll be selecting the latest release, continue once again. And here the editions, you have Home Pro and Education. I will choose Home Pro. Continue once again. Language is English. You can choose the language you want. Continue. And architecture, I have an X64 PC. So I choose 64-bit architecture. If you have 32-bit architecture, of course, choose x86 and then click on download. Now Rufus will connect to Microsoft site and will start the download. It will prompt you now to choose a folder for your download. Here I'm choosing the downloads folder. Click simply on save and the download starts. Now to make sure that it is downloading from a legitimate site, you can click on the log here and you see that it connected to Microsoft.com and it's downloading also from Microsoft.com. So we are sure that the download is legitimate. As you see, the file is pretty big, so the download will take time. Of course, all this depends on your internet speed. So what I'll do now is that I will pause this video and I will come back when the download finishes. And the download just finished. You see under boot selection, 
it selected automatically the ISO file it just downloaded. Now under image option, and this is very important, click the drop down list and select Windows to go. Under partition scheme, you have two options. You have GPT and you have MBR. The GPT is for an image that will run only on newer computers that they have the UEFI type of BIOS. Now it's better to select MBR because you will have backward compatibility with older computers. This is what I've done here. I selected MBR. For the other options, I left everything as it is. When you click on start, you'll be prompted to choose the specific Windows version you want. Choose the one that you have an activation key for. Then you'll get a warning that the USB will be deleted. Click on OK and the operation will start. As you see here, it's creating the file system. And now it started applying the Windows image. Here I accelerated the video. It took around 25 minutes for the image to be put on the USB key that I have, which is a micro SD card inserted in USB adapter. And when the operation finishes, Rufus will tell you that you need to disable secure boot. So this is a setting that we'll be doing on the BIOS of the computer. Click on close and click on close again and now we are ready to start the laptop with the new USB key. If you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, please take a moment to subscribe. Now I switch to an external camera so I can show you how to change the settings of the BIOS. Restart your PC. I have a Dell PC so to enter into the BIOS setup I pressed on F12 on my keyboard. It can be different for your PC depending on the model of your PC. Scroll down to BIOS setup with the keyboard arrow keys and press on enter and go to secure boot. Also depending on your laptop or PC model this can be different. Make sure it is disabled. Save the settings and click on exit. The laptop will reboot. I have already inserted the USB key that has Windows to go on it. So I restarted the laptop as you see and I pressed on F12 and I selected USB storage device as a boot device. So now the laptop is booting from the Windows to go USB device. I will be accelerating the video a little bit here. The first boot takes a little bit more time than a normal boot because Windows will arrange all the settings and all the devices for this laptop. So each time you put the USB key in a different laptop and you boot it from it, it might take a little bit longer. But once it set up all the devices, it will restart very quickly. Now the laptop may restart once or twice. Each time it restarts, you should press F12 or the key to enter into the boot option and select USB. Otherwise, the laptop will reboot from the hard disk. Now, as you see, it's continuing the configuration. And here's Cortana that started talking. I'm turning off Cortana and I'm doing the Windows setup that usually is done when you install a new computer. This is only the first time it boots. So all these settings will be saved to the Windows to go USB key. As you see, the video is accelerated. All the normal settings. And here I'm continuing the settings. And now it's almost done and it will restart. All this first start took around 10 minutes only. And then the subsequent restarts that I've done took only about one minute, one minute and a half. Now it's booting, it's setting up for the first time. And you see here, I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi network. It will connect to the Wi-Fi network. And this is a functioning Windows to go version that is booted that you can carry with you on your USB drive. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.